Hi students, welcome to this session here at Infinity Learn by Sri Chaitanya. I am Aniruddha sir, your physics faculty. And today we are going to talk about the Maharashtra CET examination. This is the state-based examination that you have in, the, in Maharashtra over there. So let's discuss a bit about it. So the full exam name is obviously Maharashtra Common Entrance Test or the MHT CET. And the type of the exam is going to be government because it's a, like I said, it's a state exam. So it's conducted by the government and it gives you options for government colleges in the state of Maharashtra. The exam duration is going to be 180 minutes. So just like you have for JE mean, so full three hours examination, this is going to be. The exam is completely online. There are no offline or uh, hybrid modes over here. It's completely online examination. And the language of the paper is going to stay English. You won't have options for other vernaculars over here. The type of question asked are going to be all MCQs, no numericals over there. And you would have a total number of 150 questions in the examination. So you have 150 MCQs that you'll have to answer in a span of 180 minutes on a span of three hours, which gives you an average of about 1.2 minutes per question. So you can plan your preparation and when you are practicing, you can do it according to that. Next, the total number of subjects are three and the subjects are same as you have for JE mains, which is physics, chemistry and maths. And when we talk about physics, chemistry and maths, like in JE mains, you have them as the same weightage with the same number of marks available. That is not so in the Maharashtra CET. Even though you will see the total number of questions remain the same between physics, chemistry and maths, their marking schemes are going to be different. You are going to have the maths marking scheme as being plus two and zero, whereas for physics and chemistry, it's plus one and zero. First thing to notice here is that there is no negative marking in your Maharashtra CET examination. Secondly, even though there are only 50 questions available in maths, physics and chemistry each, each question in maths is gives you a plus two if you do it correctly. If you do it incorrect or don't attempt, you get zero. But for physics and chemistry, you get a plus one over there. So the total marks of the examination is going to be 200. So 50 into two from maths and 50 plus 50 from physics and chemistry. You can only give one attempt. There's only one attempt for the paper per year. And the exam date for 2024 is from 25th to the 30th of April. The last date for the application of that form is going to be on the 1st of March 2024. So make sure you fill that up in time. And lastly, the result declaration date is June 2024. The exact date has not yet been announced. So the tentative date for now is sometime in June 2024. <clears throat> so if you want more details about the exam, you can check out the link over here. You'll get the PDF and all the detailed information over there. So that's it from this session. I hope you learned about the Maharashtra CET examination. And if you're interested in the examination, especially if you're a native to Maharashtra, then it's going to be a very beneficial exam for you because you will have certain quotas available in the government colleges there. So that's it from this session. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Catch you all again in the next one.